I'm Chris Martin, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts about how to properly calibrate a portable flow meter. We're gonna show you how to make sure you have accuracy on your portable flow meter. Calibrating it is an essential first step to a good nozzle evaluation. Down on the end of the line, we have Jerry and Shay, and they're flowing a 7 8 smoothbore. A 7 8 size smoothbore at 50 pounds nozzle pressure will give us 160 gallons a minute. So they've ensured we have 50 at the tip via pitot gauge. Now we need to make sure our flow meter reads 160. So as you can see, we're a little bit low at 150. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps to manipulate the buttons to recalibrate it exactly to 160. I'm gonna hold the mode button down for about three seconds until I see some dashes. And then I'm gonna enter the code in three, two, one. This will now show the tube size. I wanna hold down the mode and total button together until I see a zero. The mode will move the position over. So I have flashing zero. I'm in the next position. I want to tap total until I see a six. Mode will move it over one more and I want to tap total until I see one. And then I tap mode one more time to see zero, one, six, zero. That's our flow that we want. I'm going to hold them both down together for about three seconds and now it reads properly at 160. So we've just gone over the steps to make sure our flow meter is completely accurate and verifiable against the pitot flow at the end of the 7 eighths.